Tuesday Night Wars, amazing, AW's performance, amazing, and I'm here to cover it right here, right now, with you, baby. The first thing that I'm probably the only person that complains about, just because uh, with NXT and AEW and commercial free and pre-show it happened to be like six hours AEW had a pre-show where Eddie Kingston was fighting a guy and he retained Basically, I don't know who was the guy because I didn't watch the pre-show and also both of the shows had a commercial free 30 minutes after that AEW had a 10 minute overrun which was amazing for a wrestling fan i imagine it was amazing if i was watching it on tv it would have been amazing but i'm not watching it on tv unfortunately for me it was just another hour that i was just sitting on my pc and trying to see what what is up with AEW. right the night started with christian cage opening the show and it was an amazing intro because he introduced everything the proper way and it looked like a million bucks like he is owning the company i loved it the first match of the nine brian danielson versus strick strick did i just say strickland yeah strickland swear strickland and it was good and basically brian danielson won which means that he is gonna be the first contender for the tnt championship i'm really excited to see brian danielson versus christian cage brian danielson also came out at the end of the show to help edge or adam copeland and we had a little bit of a showcase of the match that's gonna happen on collision but we should wait till saturday to see this match after that we had powerhouse hobbs versus chris jericho and basically powerhouse hobbs broke chris jericho and he is in a medical facility uh, to see what's happening with him he's seriously broken the thing that uh, just warmed my heart a little bit was Daniel Garcia was trying to check up on him but his group was like no oh, we're better than that we're not gonna check on human beings because they're assholes <coughs> yeah Chris Jericho is out of action probably and uh, we're moving forward um, Powerhouse Hobbs is perfect addition to the Don Callis family, apparently. After that, we had uh, several Tony Storm segments, timeless Tony Storm segments, which... How can I say this? How can I say this? Um, I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of. I get the comedic value out of it. I get everything. I'm just not a fan of. Like, there are some things in life that you just don't like. No matter how good are they, they may be the best things in the world, but you're just not a fan of. I'm, I'm sorry. Something is not clicking here. And this definitely is not clicking with me. Sorry, Tony. Nothing personal. After that, we had... <laughs> We had a good one, Wardlow versus Matt Sidel. Four power bombs, and that match was over. Wardlow is dominant. He just went through the exit of the arena after the four power bombs, like nothing happened. I love it. Strap a rocket to that man and bring him to the moon. Give him the NXT title, please, not the TNT. Mickey Mouse title run. After that, Hangman Adam Page versus Switchblade J. White and Switchblade. I was about to say retained, but he won. And apparently this is the fourth victory in a row against Adam Page. I don't know why they're still doing this, if he's still gonna win. And after that, MJF came out and he was so pissed off because Jay White is holding his title and they had a nice verbal battle. And we are understanding that next week there's gonna be a battle royale who's gonna determine who is gonna be fighting for MJF's diamond ring. At Full Gear, we are gonna see Jay White versus MJF. I said to you several times, I'm really excited to see that match. I'm really excited to see that match. The only thing that's left is the ROH tag team titles and uh, we don't know anything about them. And if MJF is gonna defend them alone again, who knows, I don't. Personally, I don't but I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen in the following weeks. After that, we had a women's championship match because after all, it's title Tuesday, it's Tony Khan's birthday, and we had Soraya 
versus Ikaru Shida, and Ikaru Shida won. I was, I'm kind of pissed off because uh, I'm not a huge fan of Soraya, but I prefer Soraya to be the champion. And she was a champion for like, what, 44 days? She lost, she cheated even to win, but she lost anyway. That was kind of frustrating, but yeah, Ikaru Shida, I guess, is a safe choice. She's a three-time women's champion. I guess she's a good champion. I just haven't seen anything from her yet personally, but as I said, in the previous segment i'm really excited for the following weeks to see what's gonna happen and uh, i guess next in line is gonna be ruby soho but eventually i hope for Britt baker d m d to win the title because this is my favorite aw champion period last but not least edge slash adam copeland versus luchasaurus at the start of that segment we had a christian cage who was explaining why he rejected Adam Copeland and his request and as I predicted it was because he's sick of Adam Copeland and Adam Copeland being so great and he's being on his shadow and he brought a great point. Do you remember a few years ago when Christian came back to WWE Royal Rumble? He brought that back because he said like a few years ago I made the same request to you and you were so busy thinking for yourself and here for that moment when Edge stayed WWE and he jumped to AEW because probably WWE haven't offered him a deal actually. And that was so great, that was so great. He also mentioned a few other things, great promo. And after that, the match followed Adam Copeland versus Luchasaurus. It was amazing performance. Adam Copeland gave everything he got. Christian Cage tried to help Luchasaurus. Nick Wayne tried to help Luchasaurus. But in the end, Adam Copeland, spear, one, two, three, one. And after that, a mayhem happened at the ring because Christian Cage attacked, Nick Wayne attacked. After that, Brian Danielson tried to help. After that, Swerve Strickland tried, uh, came to stop Brian Danielson. And after that, BCC came out. And after that, Hangman Adam Page came out. And a lot of people were in the ring. I never like these kinds of things happening after the show, these mayhems, these brawls. But I guess some people love them, especially if you're alive, I've imag I imagine that they're pretty cool. Anyway, that was for AW Dynamite. Bang! And I'm gonna see you next time for another one. Peace.